Hey there, it's Fight here with a quick review of Video Wrapper, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but first let me show you why I'm even looking at this. It's because of this kind of thing. When you look at this, it's an ad here in my timeline, just saw this. It was actually a pure uh, coincidence. I was uh, leaving stupid comments underneath my brother's post about how to clean grey socks. Anyway, as you can see here, there's an ad. And it is playing inside a, you know, what looks like a computer, uh, or, you know, laptop type thing. And as a result, it stands out in the timeline. Now, on top of, so this is very popular. Um, this is what grabs people's attention. And that's why I'm showing you this. The other thing I want to show you is, where are we here? Um, when you look at this bit up here, square images give you more room to showcase your product or service. They are almost twice the size of horizontal images on newsfeed. You can upload a square image or crop an existing one when you create your ad. Well, this not only apply, applies to uh, images, but also videos or slideshows. The slideshow templates they give you now, you have the option of going square because it gives you this type of big image as opposed to just a you know, the, the normal size. In other words, Facebook really wants you to grab people's attention. And it kind of makes sense, right? You need to stand out to, um, you know, get someone's attention. And you only make money if you get enough attention. And of course, Facebook is in the business of making money by selling advertising space. So they have figured out that these square images get more attention and they've also figured out that um, you know slideshows uh, this for example here is a slideshow template done by them and they figured out that if there are sort of unusual elements on top of it or inside it that is what arrests people's attention it gets their attention and the example i showed you earlier this one here is one of those examples it plays inside a computer screen um wilco de cray who's done a, a ton of testing he's figured out every single time he uses a template that is square and uses a bar at the top that has text in it uh, and a bar at the bottom let me show you one example from that one second right here we go uh, this is an example so you've got text at the very top this is actually part of the video this is part of the video down here and then there is the actual video here in the middle so again you can see this square aspect it takes a lot of real estate and as a result is more likely to get people uh, get people's attention now in this case what they've done is they've created one inside of this video so what you're seeing here is um, this is an example of again a, a square image so it's this blue thing plus the uh, little iPhone and the video plays inside the iPhone screen a bit like the you know ad I showed you at the beginning, and this here is a static image with text above and below, and then you've got uh, subtitles down here. So that's basically the reasoning behind it, why you want to do this. Now, most of the stuff you can do in your favorite uh, image processing, uh, video processing application. I use Movie Studio Platinum. The problem is it's a pain in the backside. So if you do quite a few videos, and that's you know, really the, the big secret, consistency, doing these kind of things consistently, then um, you will quickly find, well, actually, it is a lot of hassle. And that's really where uh, Video Wrapper comes in. So this is Video Wrapper. They have a bunch of ready-made templates. I had a quick play with them. They do work. So, for example, you know, uh, which one did I try out? This one here. You, know, you saw that earlier or a second ago. That's this template here is this one shown here so you've got the video playing in there and you've got an image and text on the side so as you can see here they add a text they added a nice image and a bit more text and then subtle titles down below you can do exactly the same thing here the bit i want to show you is the create your own template uh, because with the create your own template really what we're trying to do is replicate something like this here the big square aspect that you know, Facebook wants us to do with text at the top and text at the bottom or uh, the bit that Wilco find out is that if you have text at the top and then you leave this space here for your subtitles that's really where the, the you know, gold is uh, so all the sweet spot so when you create your own template it's actually really easy and I'm just gonna go and do a really simple um, example the one thing to uh, keep in mind when you do your square ones you need to start with the color background this one here because you need to adjust the uh, height of this so if you go to you know, 600 by 600 or whatever you want to do uh, hang on 640 640 so let's go for 640 640 there's a nice big square 
uh, background color, uh, pff, you know, whatever. Uh, let's use a whatever nice. I don't even know what the Facebook blue is. Let's pretend this is Facebook blue. Choose there we go. I now upload a video. And what I'm gonna do is go. Where is this David to Jerry? Let's use this one here. I went. Uh, sorry, you click upload. I went cycling down in Drona and met David Miller, and we went for a nice cycling tour. And I asked him because my father-in-law is a big David Miller fan. I asked him to do a little, you know, shout out to Jerry, and he did. So that's the video you're seeing here. Anyway, I then select this video, and there it is. I can then move this around, and I'm going to put it somewhere around here. So I've got this, you know, top bit um, for the text. So in this case, I would go. Um, I don't actually want to add any more images. You can add more images. This is used for, for example, things like in this particular case, as you can see in this video, this is Andrew speaking. And then you see these little figures here, they're doing little dances. Um, let me just play this for you. So as you can see there, they're dancing at the bottom. Okay, so these are animated GIFs. You can, um, Upload pretty much any image you like, but in this case, this is used for sort of, you know, for example, animated images in this. I'm just going to skip this and render this part. Now, what I can do is add the text. It's uh, not quite WYSIWYG. You need to type this in. So, okay, hello, Jerry. Oops, jam my keyboard. And I'm going to choose this particular font size 40 yeah 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 font color blue is probably not ideal what is a nice garish combination that's well actually let's go for a nice sort of orange and there we go okay boom and I add that uh, text hello Jerry and then at the bottom I could do something else I could have subtitles whatever but I'm just gonna go for this now I can add if I like more lines of text when I say it's not quite WYSIWYG, so if I now wanted to have a little extra line, whatever, you know, for example, small, some small text here, I could have, uh, you know, then I need to click over here and say, I now want to edit this thing. And the same when I want to re remove this particular text, I need to go and say, this is the one I want to remove, click. So it's not quite WYSIWYG, but, you know, it's good enough. Oh, incidentally, the one thing they hopefully show on their sales video is one of the things that's super popular at the moment is to have progress bars and they have a whole uh, library of pre-rendered progress bars and you can put them down below that kind of apparently is super popular on Instagram that you have a little person pulling this progress bar so people know how long this video is or you could embed it here at the very very top sort of you know as a small little thing um, those kind of things you can stick in there actually I want to uh, yeah, give me one sec I'll check out if I can find one uh, right away that's uh, it happens to be nine seconds and the answer is no, but uh, you know it's part of the big package when you get the, uh, I think it's one of the upsells where you've got a giant library of these uh, different images and animated images. So that's what you could then do, you know, have a little progress bar appearing here. I'm just gonna go with uh, my text, actually, because I you know, fiddled with back and forth, I'm just wanna make sure it's actually there. Thank you very much. Next, hello, Jerry, let's go for, um, I'm not actually sure which images these ones are, whether that's, um, you know, additional images or more animated GIFs. I guess we'll just find out what's in there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I remember those. So it's basically sort of salesy type things. And look at this here. This, for example, would make sense if you have this particular, well, the this example you saw in the background. Going to look over here type thing. So you can stick those in there. We don't need this for Jerry at the moment. So thank you very much, next. And now we go and render this. So this is basically now sets things in stone before you add the subtitles. Okay, continue. Um, thank you very much. This will take one second. Well, you know, depending on uh, how, f how fast my line is, I guess, sending the information over to that server and back. So I'll pause this for one second. And there we go. That was, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. Now I can add uh, subtitles if I like. Uh, or upload a file. So for this one, you could go to you know any of those audio transcription services, or of course you do the free version and go to um, YouTube, 
upload your video, create the SRT file or whatever it is, and you upload it here. But I'm just going to go and create some subtitles very quickly. Uh, we only have nine seconds, so I'm just going to go. And then normally it would be subtitles, but uh, this is. Hi, Jerry. Uh, German keyboard. There we go. Um, hope you're having a great summer. Uh, oh, yeah, hope you're having a great summer. Okay, and. Uh, let's go for um, all the best from Sonny Girona. Uh, what you can do down here is you can adjust how long these things are. So on second there, I'm just going to go with you know, what it gave me by default. Actually, let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, and this one I'm going to drag over to here. All the best from Sonny Girona. And then one by... David, whatever, I'm fight. Okay, these are of course not the real um, subtitles. I don't know if that's too much text for nine seconds, but you get the idea. So I save and preview, uh, and then we go for to Jerry from Girona, and we save. So again, one, you know, it's a few seconds. 30 seconds or so. I'll just pause this. Uh, in this case it was about 10 seconds. Um, and we can download the whole video. So download this video. You now you can't see this at the bottom. Let me open the folder. And here is to Jerry from Girona. So, as you saw there, um, you saw two things. Number one, um, I used this player here and it overlaid the text at the bottom. That is you know, not in the video, that was overlaid by my player. And secondly, uh, towards the end, uh, there's a bug rendering this thing. I'm going to reach out to... Um, the creators of the program and have that fixed and it's going to be done by tomorrow they're pretty good with this kind of thing so basically if you recall i typed in fight uh, david and the and signed and fight and of course uh, this doesn't render properly in this case so that'll be all done tomorrow but anyway there you go that's the um, fundamental process you can do all of this in your favorite movie maker or whatever you're using the big selling point here is the time saving right it you just go in you say how big do you want this thank you very much you type in your text um you add your subtitles and especially creating the subtitles is a real pain in the backside in in the very you know movie maker in my case a movie maker or movie studio platinum whatever it's called um and for that it's it's a no-brainer just stick those uh, subtitles in there now um I didn't show you. You can basically, you know, adjust the fonts and the layout and the size of all of these things. And that's really where this comes in because by default, if you go to just, let's say, YouTube, your subtitles are always this white text in this black box. And I can't remember what examples they've showed on their sales page. They're, you know, Frank Cohen uses this and um, Russell Brunson, they've got great examples. They don't really make that text underneath stand out. Um, so anyone who watches your video on Facebook doesn't uh, you know, have to stick with this sort of standard small black text, but they, they it really stands out and looks like it's part of the video as opposed to overlaid. And that's really the objective here. So there you go. Hope that's useful. Um, you know, go and have fun. Cheers.